Welcome to the first ever Tech Help with Richard Rost, brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. This is something new I'm trying. I get lots and lots of emails from people, and they have all kinds of questions about access. And I get, the, I get asked the same questions over and over and over again, and a lot of times it's just pointing people to videos and lessons that I've already recorded. So, the Tech Help is a way of me taking your questions and answering them for you by by pointing you in the right direction. I'm not necessarily going to show you everything in these tech help videos, but I will tell you what you need to do, how to get started, and where to go for more help. So we're going to start by answering an email that deals with using access to browse your drive or a server, select some files, and then do some stuff with it. So the email starts, Dear Richard, hello, I'm developing an access database to track projects at work. Under each project, we want to track and locate data and other files for each project. Under my data form, I would like the people to be able to click on a Browse Files button to find the link to their document or data and show the link in the data form. The problem is the main folder on the server where many of the files are stored is mapped to different directories on people's independent computers. Do you have a seminar or training that will show me how to create a form that will use a button to find files on the network or on a personal computer and provide a link to that file that everyone will be able to open addressing a different mapped drive issue. Well, Christine, I cover the bulk of how to do this in the Access Imaging Seminar. Yes, I know it's, it's primarily deals with imaging, working with pictures and such, but you can use the techniques that I show you in this seminar to browse files of any type that you want. There's a button that you see that I created called Select Image, and that will open up a dialog box that will allow you to browse your computer or network or whatever location that you specify and pick a file. What I show you how to do in class is to set up a shared server folder that's in one location that once you pick the file, Access will copy the file to the server in that folder so that everybody on the network will have access to it. So basically all you have to do, now you have a, a Windows or networking problem. Now you've got to just map everyone to that specific folder so they all have access to it. So if someone picks a file on their C drive in their local drive, they select it, they hit go, Access will copy it up to the server and then save that link in the database that everyone should be able to use. So at this point it's just a matter of mapping, you know, for example, server shared as a network shared folder. Now if you don't want to go this route, if you want people to still be able to browse files on their own folder, their own directories, you can set up a user logon system. Now I cover setting up a user logon system in my security seminar. You can set up a username and password for everybody and then in each user's personal profile settings, which basically is in the user table, then you can specify what their folder for their documents, images, whatever, what that folder for them is. So Joe's might be on C colon documents, you know, C colon backslash documents backslash images or whatever. And then someone else's might be different. Now, if you've got a situation where Joe has files on his local drive and Mary has files on her local drive, unless they communicate with each other over the network directly, there's no way that one can share each other's files like that. That's why you'd need to set some kind of a shared server folder up or something online in like a, a, a Google Drive or a Dropbox situation. And you, again, you can store links to those as well um, in your Access database. Okay, so that's it. That's the Tech Help video. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, again, my, my, my purpose here is just to answer your questions, get your point in the right direction. Hope... Uh, Hope this gives you some insight into what to do to solve your problem, Christine. If you'd like to see your question answered right here, then you can submit it on the Tech Help page right there, 599cd.com slash techhelp. There's all the way to connect with me, my blog, my Facebook, Twitter, YouTube. If you're a beginner, I've got a free Access Level 1 course. It's over three hours long. There's the link. And if you like that, Level 2 is just $1.00. So thanks for watching and thanks for learning with Access Learning Zone.